for you tonight to help keep you and your family safe at a Clark County Park. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Marsha Bonhart. The sheriff says Buck Creek State Park has become a haven for men looking to meet up for sex, and he says it won't happen anymore. He says he has a plan in place, and he's on the prowl for those criminals. Tonight, Michelle Edme is working for you with, to tell you what officials say is going on there. Clark County Sheriff's Office says it's increasing patrols to monitor all areas of the park and find the men exposing themselves to the community. You know, we've been uh, making arrests, and, and they're not from Springfield. They're coming here with one purpose, to engage in this type of sexual behavior, and we're not going to have it. Sheriff Gene Kelly told me the buck stops with him. Patrolling at the family-oriented park significantly decreased following state budget cuts. But this issue is resurfacing and officials are increasing their manpower to end the problem. Residents say men of all ages are exposing themselves, soliciting sex, and having sex in wooded areas at the park. The sheriff says he believes a group of men are using an online forum to plan when and where they will meet. Thursday, deputies arrested a Westchester man who they say was naked at the park and later resisted arrest. Officials believe 63-year-old Joseph McCormick struck the deputy twice and tried to flee because he works for the Springfield Public School District. Today, McCormick appeared in court to face several charges, assault, resisting arrest, sexual imposition, public indecency, and loitering and solicitation. The sheriff says those who mimic McCormick can expect the same consequences. We're working with the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we're using undercover detectives to patrol the park as well. And again, we want people who see this type of activity and who are appalled by it to report it. Um, I've had many people who have reported it, but Again, the public needs to take charge of this park, and it's a beautiful facility, and we want it to be safe and secure for families and anyone who wants to come here and enjoy it. We have Officials are advising people at the park to stay in groups and keep an eye on young children. They're also asking anyone who sees this behavior to immediately call police. Two News has learned that McCormick has been placed on administrative leave. Monday, three other men will face similar charges for public indecency at the park. The sheriff's office says they'll continue to fight off this problem until it no longer exists. Beershaw Edmay, Two News, working for you.